Cross action of Nigerians on Tuesday flayed the extension of a two day holiday earlier declared by the federal government to three days. Whilst the Nigerians described the decision as unwarranted, others berated the government, saying embarking on holidays drags down productivity of a nation. Our correspondent in Abuchi, Ken Abuchi, went around the FCT metropolis and came back with this report. Permanent Secretary, Ministry of the Interior, Dr. Aisha Tugogo Ndayako, on Tuesday, said the decision to add Thursday to the Salah holidays was taken to allow Nigerians, especially Muslims, faithful to enjoy the Salah celebration. The Permanent Secretary quoted the Minister of Interior, Olubumi Tunji Ojo, as reiterating President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's firm commitment to providing a safe and prosperous Nigeria for all to thrive. But reacting to the announcement, so Nigerians explained that frequent holidays in a country like Nigeria has been impacting negatively on its productivity, just like it lost a huge sum eight years ago when such public holidays were ordered. A report of the Gada newspaper on the 8th of July 2016 showed that Nigeria lost a whopping sum of 138 billion naira then when such public holidays were declared. Reason being that there were scheduled Treasury bills auctions estimated at 94 billion naira, as well as 44 billion naira Treasury bills maturity for the week, which the unusual straight three day had put off. The monetary policy measures were expected to put liquidity into the system in the week, with the auction component helping to taper its effect on money market rate. And with its Treasury bills auctions and maturities, which are usually executed between Tuesdays and Thursdays, not holding one, can imagine what that means to the economy. With these, it is certain that equivalent of that amount or even more may have also been lost now that such public holidays are ordered in this year. These, according to some citizens, will not help the alien Niger's economy. Scanty. If you look at everywhere in Setirat now, nobody come out because they've already spoiled the week for people already. Just three days. So nobody will come to office because I can't come because even in Setirat here, you know when you come, Friday you close by 12. So it doesn't need to come because they've already spoiled the economy. There's no money anywhere. So people can't be wasting their money. So they are waiting till Monday. So that is all I see for about this economy of this salad break. It will go more low because there's uh, no more buying, no more selling. Everything is down until Monday when everybody go back to work again. The economy will pick up. It affects the holiday affect the Nigerian economy. Even it affect everybody. Uh, well uh, the position we find ourselves Nigeria is a circular state that if you give one section holiday, don't give order, that'll be a problem. Despite that our economy, when the holiday is necessary to give, let them give. But this one is long. It's the same decision that make us to do this, uh, to be long holiday from Monday that we want to see today now. There's no work. How many people do you see here? Before they can make the declaration, so that there should, this kind of issue should not happen again. So they should be sure of the date of Salah before they can go ahead and declare public holiday. So that there should be no issue like this again, because it's affected the economy, if you can see it. Just a fortnight ago, there were two days holidays for the Easter celebration. A reason there must also be two days for the Salah celebration. But can this happen in advanced countries such as the UK, US or France, where people are expected to pay their taxes regularly? Nigerians see this as an unfair situation that will never do the country any good, especially when public holidays only favor civil servants and not those in the private sector. Well, the, the, what, I, what me I saw for this public holiday was a ticket, a Muslim ticket. If you, if you check, VIP is Muslim, um, President is Muslim. So they are using ticket, they use the power of ticket, Muslim ticket, ticket. But it's not supposed to be so because this country is meant for everybody. It's meant for all the own Nigeria. We, the massive, we don't want to put them there so that she knows that we also have right to remove them. But actually, them knows, God knows the best, Allah knows the best. But it's not supposed to be so because hungry is everywhere in Nigeria. The government declared three days. Some of us that are into the private sector, it affected us seriously because we are feeding on the, from our business on daily basis. But like civil servants, they don't have problem. 
They come to work, they didn't come to work, their salary will be paid at the end of the month. And look at it today's Friday. Just as if today is still public holiday. There's no population everywhere here. This is federal sectariat, the seat of civil servants. Uh, if Nigerian will actually leave this legal stuff and stick to Nigerian, I think we will go far in this country. That is just our this legion ethic of a thing is just the problem of this Nigerian. If Nigerian will leave legion and think of Nigeria, we are going to go for. There's no gain saying that the numerosity of public holidays are religiously and politically motivated to please politicians and some sections of the country. Analyst says government must have a rethink to reduce the number of public holidays and strive to make more money for the development of the country.